Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we will sketch the graph of this function f of x equals 1 over 2x minus 1. And one way to do it is by using what we call a table. And I'm going to use this vertical table. And you notice I put x and f of x or y. And I'm going to pick some value. One of the value that I think is good to be used is 0. And in this case, we have x equals 0. That means f of 0. That will be 1 over 2 times 0 minus 1. And this is what? Uh, 0 minus 1, which is negative 1. And this math can be done mentally. So basically, I have a point 0 and negative 1, which is this point right here. I plot it. And now I need how many points? One more at least, because this is a linear function, and for that reason, you need two points. Two points uh, are good enough to draw a line. Now, which one I'm going to use? If I use this table, obviously I'm going to go, or uh, I don't know if it's that, obviously I'm going to go to that two, right? If you notice these two, for a reason, if you do not see it, let's do it here. x equals 2, f of 2 is 1 half times 2. That's the reason, right? Because 1 half times 2, it's something very easy to be done without a calculator or with a calculator. That will be nothing else than 1 minus 1, and that will be 0. With these two points, I'm good enough to graph this line. I can get more value. I can get 4 if you want. I can get 6. I can get negative value in case you want to you'll see all those points are on the same line. But with two points, I'm good enough. Now, I'm going to do this pattern because I know that will be the case, and this is the graph. But like I said, you need only two points. You don't need all these points. In fact, on my next thing here, you see what we call the slope intercept form. Yeah, this is y equals, but this f of x equals 1 over 2x minus 1 can be graphed by using the slope, which is 1 half, and the y-intercept, which is 0 and negative 1. And you can see that in the picture. Yes, I'm right here. This is the uh, y-intercept, 0 and negative 1. And then I'm going to use the slope going 1 up, 1 two to the right and you see you get the second point so two ways to do the same problem the table the classic table or uh, the slope intercept form down here on the bottom you have a better picture uh, done by using a computer algebra system and you notice we have the same uh, graph if you enjoy this example don't forget to click the like button and come back at c square for more help thank you